Curta Trades here, and today we're going to be comparing two rust proofers, Blaster Surface Shield and Fluid Film. Fluid Film is, has been regarded as one of the best undercoating and rust proofers out there, and this is a new product from Blaster called Surface Shield, and some people have been talking it up really well, saying some really good things about it, so I wanted to test it out myself and let you guys know what I think. I'm a big fan of Fluid Film. I've been using it for about five years now on my car, and it's done really well keeping rust away. And so I wanna see how it stacks up to Fluid Film. So Fluid Film is known for being really good at covering a large area and wicking water away and creating a barrier. And the best part about Fluid Film, I think, is that it creeps and it covers areas that you didn't spray specifically. It'll creep a couple inches, actually, from where you spray it into areas that you can't see or can't tell if they're covered yet. So that's what's really nice about Fluid Film. The downside is it does wash off a little bit easier than some of the other products that harden, like a rubberized undercoating or some of the waxy ones that tend to set and harden more. And Blaster, what they've made here with Surface Shield is it's also based on wool wax and lanolin. So it's a very similar product to Fluid Film. Um, the biggest difference though is that it says it will last up to two years on your car. Where Fluid Film you need to respray every season before it gets winter. Blaster is said to be a lot longer lasting. So I'm curious if it will actually be as good at creeping as Fluid Film will. Yeah, I think there needs to be a trade-off for how well this holds up versus the creeping abilities that Fluid Film has. So I'm gonna do two tests on these. One test is going to see how well they hold up to the elements. I'm gonna spray a few stripes on here. I already have Fluid Film and Fluid Film Black because I was testing those two. I'm gonna add in Surface Shield up here on the top. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in the wheel well where it gets a lot of road spray on it to see if Fluid Film and Surface Shield hold up as long as they say they should hold up. And the second test, which I think is going to be very important, and I'm curious how the Surface Shield will do on this test, is I'm going to do what's called a creep test. I'm going to spray a spot on the back of my car. I'm going to tape it off so it's a very distinct line of where it starts. And I'm going to see how far they creep up into that area where they were not sprayed. So my first impression while looking at the surface shield is that it looks identical to fluid film. It looks like it's almost bubbling a little bit more than fluid film does when you put it on, but honestly, I really, I cannot tell the difference between the two. It smells almost exactly the same as well. All right, I'm gonna spray the fluid film on the outside. And the surface shield is going to go on the inside. If you're wondering why I didn't spray these on the underside of the car, that's because I wanted you to be able to see these really clearly and how they perform and how they creep. Cars don't really show rust until they've reached like three, four, five, six or more winters. So to do a long-term test like that, it's a much different process. All right, so here's the creep test. We're gonna tape off an area, spray it down, and then I'm gonna remove the tape and see how far each of them creeps. Plaster. Blue film. So it's now been six months, winter's almost over here, it's middle of April, 
And we're gonna see how these two held up over the winter. We have uh, fluid film and surface shield. And we're gonna go check out all the different spots it was and I'll tell you my thoughts on what I think, um, how they performed and how they performed differently compared to each other and which one I recommend. If you're looking to purchase either of these products, check out the link in the description for a link to purchase them. Fluid film is just lanolin and lanolin is basically wool wax and what it does is it helps to wick water out of sheep's wool and it's a very good product and it wicks water out away and the best part about it is that it creeps and is self-healing and it's very good at that. The downside to it is that it gets washed away fairly easily. Now, I don't want you to think that, oh, I put it on and in two weeks it's going to be washed off completely because that's not the case. The best situation to use it is to spray it when it's dry and let it set up for about a week or two before you get it super wet. So like, if you're going to drive a long ways on a rainy day, it's going to wash some of it away, especially in the low hanging parts. Surface Shield is lanolin as well, but it also uses petroleum jelly, and that's the main difference between the two. Fluid film is just lanolin, and Surface Shield is lanolin and petroleum jelly mixed together. So the main thing that Surface Shield markets on is the fact that it has the petroleum jelly in it as well, which helps with the longevity. Now the lanolin is much more likely to get washed away quicker, and the petroleum jelly sticks on there much sturdier. Another interesting thing that happened during this test was about two months after I applied the fluid film and the service shield, I had my car parked on the street and a snowplow came by on a really snowy day and actually blasted it with packed snow. And here's what it looked like right after it had happened. You can see where it had knocked off a lot of the fluid film and surface shield um, where it hit in those locations. And as you can see, what it looks like now is it, it really did self heal and that's what's so good about these products. So for example, if something blasts the surface shield or the fluid film off of the car, like a rock chip or something, for example, it will creep back over to cover that location to make sure it's protected. When you use something that hardens or turns into like a waxy material, if it gets chipped, it doesn't self heal and then rust can start to form in those locations. And then it also usually creeps underneath the materials. So something that's wet that doesn't come off is much better than something that hardens. So up here, this area here is the surface shield and this area right here is the fluid film. And over here I did surface shield as well. That way it was kind of at the same level as the other two. And you can see they both held up very well. As you can see, it's quite a bit easier to pull the fluid film off. The surf shield is a lot grippier on there, and you can see it didn't take near as much off when I ran my finger on there, and this was much slicker. Um, it still feels a little slippery here, even though it's all gone. Here it doesn't feel as slippery, it's a little bit more tacky, um, and I think that's just because of the two dif the differences between the two uh, materials. In the back here, I put the fluid film down here on this section, and up here this is the surface shield. And this area doesn't get hit as much. I think this area does because um, this part of the fender is a little bit in further than this part. So I think this one got hit by a lot more road debris than this one did. So that's kind of why this one's a lot less dirty than this one is. But again, these um, pretty similar to the front part. And this one's much more liquidous. This one's dried up quite a bit. If you look on the back here where I did the creep test, I'm really surprised by the results actually. Neither of them really crept very much. And I think that has to do with where they were on the car. And back here, they get hit by a lot of rain. I don't think the lanolin part of fluid film or surface shield got a chance to really set in. If you pl apply them and then get them wet really quickly afterwards, um, they kind of just wash away. That goes for both of these because they both contain lanolin. And so I think that's why they were very similar on the creep test. And I think that's why they didn't creep very much. Because if you look at other areas of the car where the fluid film was kind of protected from the elements more, you can see that it crept super far. I'll show you some spots here. Like this is where I sprayed. None of this was visible before when I sprayed it. And it all crept up and around the body panels. I didn't spray this on the outside of the car in these locations. Another thing to notice here is you can see there's a lot more overspray on the fluid film. When you're undercoating, you can't get every single little nook and cranny. And if the fluid film is more likely to cover other areas that you didn't directly spray with overspray, that's something that shouldn't be overlooked as well. You can see on the fluid film side, it covered a big area where all the dirt sticks to the fluid film. And on the surface shield side, it's a much smaller area of where the dirt is sticking to the surface shield. It's a little bit thicker and it's less likely to go to other areas than where you actually sprayed it on. 
There's still quite a lot of the blaster surface shield material here. Not very much left of the fluid film. There is a little bit there still though. And that has to do with the, the differences between the two, obviously. All right, we're gonna take this thing through the car wash and see how much comes off with the brushes and the soap and suds and see how they hold up to a car wash. So I just got done going through the car wash. And as you can see here, the surface shield is holding up much better in the back here. Um, quite a bit of the fluid film came off in this location. It's still got quite a bit there, but um, much more came off than the surface shield. Um, if you look at it on the side of the car here though, there really isn't a whole lot that came off on either of these. And these things hold up really well. I think a lot of people think that fluid film washes off super easily and it really doesn't once it sets on really well. It's actually extremely sticky stuff. And this is gonna, I'm gonna have to scrub this pretty good with a microfiber towel to get it all to come off. It's just stuck on here really, really good. So that brings me to my next point. Which one do I recommend and which one do I think is better? I don't think you can go wrong with either of these products. The one thing I will caution against is I don't know how well the Surface Shield will hold up on year two. Surface Shield is claimed to be a two year product. So you apply it one time and it lasts through two winters completely. Now, a lot of the fluid film gets washed away. The lanolin gets washed away through one full winter. And lanolin is a big part of Surface Shield. And so if you go into that second winter without reapplying surface shield, you're not going to have very much lanolin left and it's going to mainly be petroleum jelly, which is fine, but petroleum jelly doesn't creep as well as the fluid film or the lanolin will. I would advise against doing one application of surface shield for two years. I would say whatever product you choose, I would apply it every single year because the lanolin is the best part of both of these products because of its creeping ability. And the, the petroleum jelly doesn't seem to creep near as much as the lanolin does. It kind of stays exactly where it goes on. So if you miss spots with the petroleum jelly and you don't have lanolin on there to help cover those areas that could be chipped off or that were missed, then I think you're gonna be opening up for some corrosion in the future. So I think both of these products are very good. Um, the Surface Shield actually surprised me quite a bit with how well it was. And uh, again, I don't think you could go wrong with either one, but I would not do one application and wait two years to do your second one. I just wouldn't do it. I would spray some, spray every year if you're gonna do it, no matter which one you go to choose to go with. If you're looking to purchase either of these products, check out the link in the description for a link to purchase them.